What's up everybody, NFX here with another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about doing the T-Pain vocal effect. The T-Pain vocal effect is basically an auto-tune effect where the singer's voice will snap into uh, a specific pitch. And uh, it sounds pretty uh, unnatural. In other words, it's kind of computerish sounding or robotic sounding. And some people think that it's done with... Um, a vocoder or maybe a, a talk box or something like that but but I don't think it is I think it's done with a program called AutoTune which is a commercial software um, I think it's pretty expensive I don't know uh, I don't own a copy of it but it's a professional level software and it's made specifically for fixing vocals and um, Usually when it's used, it's used in a way that it makes the fixing of the vocals sound uh, as close to uh, organic, I guess, as possible. In other words, the, the effect we're going for does not sound organic or natural. Um, but the auto-tune program normally is used to, make, to fix little problems in a singer's pitch in the studio, uh, and it's not made to do this specific effect. But uh, but let's listen to the effect in action. I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit of a song. Uh, and you'll, In the beginning, you'll hear the rapper kind of introducing himself in the song. But when the singer uh, comes in, I want you to listen to the vocal and how the pitch will oftentimes just snap into a specific uh, note. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. And let's hear the T-Pain effect from T-Pain in this particular song. Uh, right now. Hey, what's happening, now, man? This is the woke blind, man. Shawty. Hey, Payne, I want you to tell about your show, yeah. homie. And I'm going to tell him about mine, dog. Even though I'm not your man, you're not my girl. I'm going to call you mine. Shawty. I can't stand to see you treated bad. I'll be this ass for my Shawty. Okay, so hopefully you, you hooked into it and you could hear the effect I'm talking about. And we're going to go ahead and recreate that now. Now, one of the things that I want to do with recreating it, because I've told you I don't own it, um, so you're probably wondering, well, how are you going to do it? Well, I'm going to do it with a freeware plugin called G-Snap. Um, and G-Snap is a is an excellent software let me bring it into view here so you can see what it looks like um, but what I want to do is I just want to bring up the website real quick so you guys know where to get it so there's the address of it up there now this particular site um, it's based out of the UK um, the skin I'm using for this plugin is this one here is the Grimjack skin to me it looked better so that's the one I downloaded uh, but, you know, you've got a manual um, you can download for it and learn more about it. Because what I'm going to show you is, is pretty specific, and it does more than what I'm going to show you. But uh, go ahead and pause the video, look at the um, the address there, um, and, uh, and go to the site if you want to go grab this real quick. And I'll be waiting for you. Um, in the meantime, uh, I just want to say uh, if you do get this particular plugin and you like it and you try some of their other plugins by the way which are all free they even have some synths there some instruments there uh, if you like them you know please uh, donate because they keep them free and the thing that motivates people who do freeware is when people show some appreciation it could even be in the form of some feedback you know just let them know you think it's great and uh, and that that helps as well. But if you can throw them, you know, ten bucks, twenty bucks, uh, whatever you can afford, um, I urge you to do it because you know these guys will give you a tool that has a lot of power in it and is worth way more than ten dollars. Believe me. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue then. And uh, now one of the uh, things I was dreading with regards to this tutorial was having to record myself singing. So let me just get, get that out of the way, is that I'm not a singer, I don't pretend to be a singer, and I hate singing, and you're going to hear me sing, it's going to be embarrassing, but it is what it is. So, I'm going to turn off the G-Snap effect, 
and I'm just going to play my voice uh, with what I'm singing so you can hear the original. Don't you know what I'm all about? Okay. So that's me saying, don't you know what I'm all about? The only other effect I really have going on is the fruity flanges effect. And that's just to give my voice a little bit of a different sound to it. So it doesn't sound like I'm talking to you, describing what I'm doing and singing at the same time. But uh, it's just a little bit different. Um, okay, so that's it raw with no pitch correction whatsoever. Uh, let me also play for you the song that I'm going to be singing that to. And well, before I do that, this is the melody that I tried to sing, just so you can see how far off I was. This is the melody I, I, I wanted to sing. Okay, and the reason why I did that is because it's in the same key as as the the bass line and the and I have drums also. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the song for a few bars, give you an idea of that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the G snap and show you how I have it set up. Uh, you're going to want to pretty much grab these same parameters that I have going on here as far as pitch bend, vibrato and all these things. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to explain all of them, uh, but the bottom section here just set everything the way I have it. Uh, and the top section here just set everything the way I have it. And the important part for this tutorial are the, is the middle section and this is let me explain what's going to happen I'm going to turn on the G snap and you actually what you're going to see is my voice G snap is going to detect the pitch of my voice and put a little green line or dot where it hears the pitch that I'm singing okay so let's let's take a look at that don't you know what I'm all about? Don't you know what I'm all about? Okay, so see these green lines here? I know they're going off the screen fast, and I can't really pause that. At least I don't know how to. But those correspond to the notes over here. So if you saw a green line in this area, it would mean I was singing in a G sharp or A flat, however you want to look at it, note. And if you saw a note down here in this area, it would mean I was in an F, or maybe here I was in an F sharp, etc. Okay, so that thing's detecting my pitch, so it knows what notes I'm singing. Now, in order to correct, do pitch correction or auto tuning, we need to tell it what note I'm supposed to be singing, so it can just snap my pitch up or down into the correct note. And the way we do that, in this case, is going to be through MIDI. And that's why I have MIDI selected over he up here. Okay. Now, in order for that to work, you're going to have to mess around with, these middle, with this middle section. Now, for the T-Pain effect, these last three, amount, attack, and release, you're going to want them pretty much set up the way I have them. And what this means is it's going to do a full-on pitch correction, 100% pitch correction. The attack and release means it's going to do it immediately um, and then release it immediately uh, when the note gets released. But you can play with these, obviously. You know, if, if it's not sounding quite right to you, you can mess around with them. But for this demo, that's what we want. Now, the other important one is this threshold. Let me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down a MIDI key. And you can see that this note lit up because I'm holding this key down on my MIDI keyboard. Um, and then you see this blue area here. This threshold sets the width or the size of that blue area. And that's important because if I'm singing a note that's outside of that blue area, it will not pitch correct it. In other words, if I'm holding down the G and I want my note, my, my singing to pitch correct to G right here in the middle of this blue area, if I sing a note that's too low 
outside of that blue area, so I sing a note that's, let's say, a D, it will not pitch correct. So you're going to have to fiddle with this to get this just right for whatever vocal you're working on. Now, if you turn it up all the way, it, it doesn't sound quite right because sometimes it'll pitch correct it down to a lower octave than you want it to. So you don't want it necessarily all the way, but you want it wide enough that it's going to capture some notes. Now, for me, I'm pretty far off the mark a lot of times, so I need it about, you know, 300, 320 to, uh, to, to sound right for, for myself. But uh, your mileage may vary with that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we feed the MIDI to this thing. And it's really easy. What we do is we set the port number here, port number 8. Uh, it could be any port number that you have that you're not currently using. I use port number 8. And then down here I have a MIDI out defined. And that's also using port number 8. Okay, so there's port number 8. So now anything I play here will feed into this. And I'll just click on the C here so you can see. Over here you'll see the C light up when I click. There it is. I'm going up the scale or up the keyboard. You can see the, the notes changing. Okay, so that's how we feed it. Now, you can uh, sequence any MIDI you want in here. Now, in my uh, example, let me uh, let me go ahead and and pitch correct it based on the on the uh, melody that you heard. In other words, I want to try to pitch correct it to this. Okay. Okay, so that's what I'm going to try to pitch correct it to. And again, so MIDI out number two, which is set to port eight, is going to feed those notes into G snap. And then I'm going to also play back my vocal, which should then get pitch corrected to that melody. And I'm going to turn off the melody so you can only hear my voice. Don't you know what I'm all about? Don't you know what I'm all about? Don't you know what I'm all about? Okay. Now that last time was without the G snap. I didn't turn it off in time. But uh, what I forgot to mention is that when you see the pitch correction happening in this area, the red lines are where I'm singing and it's out of pitch. The green lines are where it's put my vo voice when it corrects my pitch. So let's just take a listen again and look for the red lines and the green lines. Remember, the red lines are my actual singing that are out of pitch. The green lines are the correction that the G-Snap has done for me. Don't you know what I'm all about? Don't you know what I'm all about? Okay, so you can see it's done quite a bit of correction for me. But what we want to do is we want to make it even a little bit more fancy than that. So that's why I have this other MIDI uh, out up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the melody, which was this. And we're going to convert it basically by making it a little bit fancier. If you look here, the basic melody is the same up here in this this top one. But you can see like in this area up here, I added a couple of extra notes and I went a little higher. Uh, you can see over here, I, I cut this note and made it go up and then back down. And you can see I've just kind of spruced it up a little bit. So this is the new melody. Now it sounds kind of off, maybe you're kind of busy, but that's okay because the singing I'm going to do is not going to actually sound exactly like that melody because my my uh, my singing's not in the same timing as that. But you're going to hear that it's going to snap my voice in a way that sounds more interesting than it did uh, just a second ago. So let me copy this down into my MIDI section that's going to feed into G Snap. And we'll turn on my vocal and the, and the G-Snap uh, MIDI, and then we'll play it back. 
Don't you know what I'm all about? Don't you know what I'm all about? Okay, so hopefully you can hear it much better. It sounds more interesting now than before. And, uh, and it, that's basically it. That's the T-Pain effect. Now, all I've done is I've pre-recorded my voice, and then I put G-Snap in. Uh, I've sent my voice to insert uh, 8. It could be any insert, really. And then I've put G-Snap as the first thing in there, uh, as the first effect. So that's really all there is there is to it. So hopefully you can do this. And uh, and before I close out the video, let, let's just hear it again with the uh, with the uh, with the music behind it, and just uh, hear how it all sounds uh, played together. Don't you know what I'm all about? Don't you know what I'm all about? Don't you know? So there we go. T-Pain effect using freeware. Yay, freeware. Okay, so uh, that'll do it for this tutorial. This is NFX saying I'll catch you guys in the next one.